everyone. I hope you're having a great day. Um, I just have a quick word to share with you today, a quick encouragement and a reminder of your purpose and our purpose of what Jesus called us to do. And um, obviously when we think of what Jesus called us to do, we think of the Great Commission and what he told his disciples after Jesus resurrected and before he went to heaven, he gave them the purpose of what he wanted them to do and what he wants us to do. And this is what he said in Matthew 28, 18 through 20. It says, Jesus came and told his disciples, I have been given all authority in heaven and on earth. Therefore, go and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Teach these new disciples to obey all the commands I have given you and be sure of this. I'm with you always, even to the end of the age. And I just love that. Um, I love that commission that Jesus gave his disciples. But he said at the end, and be sure of this, I'm with you always, even into the end of the age. And that tells us that he's speaking to us too, because the disciples, they weren't going to live until the end of the, the age. They're, they're not going to live until Jesus comes back. And Jesus knew that when he said that. And so that, this commission goes on to us that we would make disciples and tell them about the gospel of what Jesus did. And um, I just want to remind you today of that purpose that has been given to you, the commission that has been given to you and me and all of us. Um, I saw a quote by Bill Johnson yesterday, and it just really stuck out to me. And um, it says, Jesus didn't give us power and authority to sit on a pew and wait for the rapture. And that is so good. Jesus gave us power and authority to uh, push back what the enemy is doing, to take back what the enemy has stolen, to set people free from addiction and bondage and tell them about the life that Jesus has for them. And so he, we just have to be mindful that we and purposeful that we are not just letting life tick by, waiting for the rapture. Yes, we are waiting for the rapture and we're excited and we're ready for that. But he didn't give us power and authority to just sit there on a pew. And so I just want to remind you of that. And another thing I heard that goes along with this of the the purpose of the gospel and the, the commission that we have, the responsibility that we have <clears throat> and how we're living that day-to-day life is I heard someone talking about how if you've ever been on a missions trip, if you've gone over to a different country, and um, I've been to Nicaragua and Alaska, <clears throat> that's not a different country, but it's some it's far off. But we went there, and when you're there, if you've been on a missions trip, you are only focused on what you're there for. You're not worried about um, what's going on at home. You're not worried about all the things that are going on in the culture and uh pop culture, whatever it may be, <clears throat> you, we go out, we went out and we did a uh, VBS with the kids. We went out into the neighborhood all over and invited people. We were so excited. We hung out with the youth. We did a youth service uh, for these people that we had no idea who they were, but we went out and invited them and we were so excited and we were telling people about Jesus in the streets. And it's like, we are so fulfilled and excited when we do that, when we're able to serve and live out the gospel. When we go on mission trips, we're living out the gospel. And it's like when we get home, we're just like, we're back to normal life. But that's not the way it should be. We should be living out the gospel here. Jesus told us and gave us the great commission to live out the gospel and tell people about Jesus. And he, he didn't just do, he didn't die on the cross just for us to do our normal life. So I just want to encourage you that if you've ever been on a mission trip, you know what I'm talking about, that zeal and that excitement to live out the gospel and tell people about Jesus. I want to encourage you and remind you of that so that you can live that out every single day. Think, okay, if I were on a mission trip, what would I be doing? When you go to your job, think, okay, if I were in a diff- if I were on a mission trip right now, what would I do differently? How could I live more purposefully? Because When you walk outside the doors of the church, when you go into your job, that is a mission field. And so if we can live that way and remember that, we need to do that because that's what Jesus commissioned us to do. 
And so if you've never been on a mission trip, I encourage you to do that. But I just hope that you can uh, hear of other people's uh, testimonies of what they've experienced on mission trip. But um, just look at what the disciples did, what the apostles did in the Bible and how they gave their life to and focused on what Jesus told them to do. And they lived that out every single day. And they laid their lives on the line. They sacrificed their life. They gave up their life. They picked up their cross. And when you follow Jesus and become a follower of Him, it doesn't mean life's going to get automatically better. But Jesus is with you. He says, I will be sure of this. I am with you. And He helps you through everything that you're going through. And He never leaves you. And He makes a way. He provides and He makes a way. So if we know that much about His goodness and His love and what He did for us, let's be purposeful and remember what He asks of us. And let's live that way every single day telling people about what Jesus did, thinking of ways, okay, if I were on a mission trip, what would I do? How could I live life differently? I don't when we're on a mission trip, we're, we're not worried about what people think. Let's live that way here. Live that way in your job. Live that way with your family. Live that way in your community. And so I just want to speak that over you today, and I hope you're encouraged and uh, ready to do what God's commissioned you to do. I hope you have a great day.